One other thing that I want to share with you guys, if you guys are like, well, what about the camera angles when you're trying to figure out how to get like a good dynamic angle? You already know that with the three background, it has its own preset angles. When you add the 3D models to the 3D background, you can also utilize the camera angles that the 3D models have. So I'm going to click this 3D model and now I'm going to go actually to the camera and look. They're humans, they're peoples. And you're like, oh, that's different. Let's go ahead and click one and see what happens. Where is it at? Whoa, a Titan kind of thing. But you can just click through the camera preset that is for the character and you can get all these different dynamic angles specifically focused on the characters themselves. This one was not a good character to select, but you see what I'm talking about? Like, look, look how dynamic that angle is. I wouldn't have been able to thought of, think of that. You know, but combining the 3D model with the 3D building and then clicking the 3D model and accessing the camera angles, it's just like magic. And like, let me go ahead and click this 3D model. I can click him and I can click the camera preset. We'll do the same thing. Let's see what happens. That's too close. Back it up. Look at this. Look at these angles. Oh, his t tushy. Hold on. I don't want to get in trouble. But look at these angles. You can't see it, but it's it's there. They're on a tushy. <laughs> Why do they clean on a tushy? But you get what I'm talking about. The, you, it, It's amazing. And again, if you want to just manually move stuff around, go back to your camera, click it once, or you can hold, and just zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom. Zoom out. Z oh, okay, okay, okay. Zoom up. Okay, hold on. It's going bad. As you can see, that's how you do it. It's super simple, no issues at all. Let me just go ahead and just undo all of that.